Jimmy and D Haslam. He bought a football team a few years ago. And you keep hiring the wrong coaches. Lack of talent, devoid of talent. Now you finally have a stacked roster. Odell Beckham never wanted to be here, but I can assure you one thing, Jimmy. If I would have been coaching this team, he would have been here and he would have been happy. Because that ball would have been to him. And we wouldn't have lost. Now we have players on offense wanting out. You can tell by the body language. If I was Rashard Higgins, I'd demand to be traded. If I was Jarvis Landry, I'd demand to be traded. If I was anybody offensively outside of a tight end or a running back, I'd demand to be traded. If I'm Kareem Hunt, I'd demand to be traded. Why Kareem Hunt? He's a running back. Because he's not utilized. He's not utilized. Down the stretch, he's on the bench. We got Demetrius, whatever the fuck his name is. He's a good back, by the way. But he didn't play all game. We got 12 guys in the field. We call a timeout. We still got 12 guys in the field. We had a muff punt against Pittsburgh. A muff fucking punt. They go to a commercial break. I'm surmising they're going to come back. Red flag on the field, but no. Substance has got his face buried in that fucking play sheet. That's about three-quarter size oversized than normal ones, by the way. This guy runs 13 personnel 90% of the fucking time. Even when there's a minute left and 85 yards to go with no timeouts. How the fuck are we going to stretch the fucking field? You drafted a quarterback, number one. He's been through 18,000 different coaches and coordinators. Then you get him a coach that has no clue on how to do nothing but chase away talent. Stephon Diggs. Odell Beckham. And numerous ones that are going to want out of Cleveland now because of him. You owe it to yourself and your fans to fire this clown. I'm not talking to Modem. Fire him. He knows he's the fucking reason. And I see that they say, oh, we got a bunch of different guys going through these calls. Analytics. It should be no more than one person calling plays. It shouldn't rely on a village. Analytics has no part in the game of football. Unless you're coaching against Kevin Stefanski. Because that's what uh, Staley did against us, 27-13 to 13 deficit. He said, I'm going for it on fourth down. And guess what? He got it every time. You know why? Because our defense was playing analytic ball. Let's keep them in front of us. They're bound to make a mistake. Consequently, all the times we get turnovers when we play aggressive. Now, Jimmy, I know you can see this from the press box, and I know you're sitting there leery of making another coaching change because you get these so-called experts out there. It's also fancy. He's a good coach. Won 11-5 last year with the stacked roster. Offensively, The defense wasn't that good, but guess what? Joe Woods held the highest scoring offense of 22 points in a playoff game. Kevin Stefanski comes back from COVID, and our offense looks like dog shit, like it has the last six weeks. I know one thing, uh, Jimmy. The week before against Pittsburgh, a better defense. Our offense looked much better, didn't it? Scored like 48 fucking points. Kevin comes back and puts a goddamn governor on it. You owe it to yourself to fire this guy immediately. Oh, hell, he's taking your... Number one quarterback and turn him into a game manager. The guy is afraid to throw the ball downfield because of Stefanski. He can't turn the ball over, can't take any chances because of Kevin. You know, most coaches, they fit their fucking play calls to fit the talent on their offense or defense. Stefanski forced this goddamn high school offense on your fucking team. A team that you pay a lot of money to, too. Hell, you signed up. A tackle-eligible tight end that nobody else wanted to for 40 fucking million. The only reason I'm not going on that guy is because I will say this. The guy, uh, the, the linebacker out of Notre Dame and Newsom is our, our great picks. So I can live with him. But the analytics got to go and Kevin Stefanski got to go. And I know you're thinking, well, who am I going to get to replace him? Right here. I'll coach for free. I don't even want nothing. Just give me a nice mansion in Cleveland and I'll guarantee you I will lead you to the playoffs and... 17-game season, I'll get you at least 13 wins a season. At least. I guarantee you, Jimmy. I guarantee you I will have the most wide-open offense and the most aggressive defense you've ever seen. And my team will be disciplined. And they will have fun playing like the defense has fun when they're getting aggressive. And you notice when they're not having fun when they're playing back, analytic-driven? When they played against the Patriots, they didn't even look like they wanted to play. None of them did. Because they weren't aggressive. What type of coaching staff doesn't get aggressive with a rookie quarterback? You tell me, Jimmy. A Kevin Stefanski coaching staff, that's who. This guy has ruined our season. 
to where we have to win every game and hope that God somehow makes mistakes. Well, it shouldn't happen to be that way, Jimmy. Not when you have the most expensive roster in the NFL, you fucking... I don't blame you, Jimmy. I blame Depot Testa. Look at this asshole. Look at this fucking retard. Yeah, pull out in front of you, you fucking idiot. Idiot control. I should beat the fuck out of you, fucking asshole. I hate people. If I wasn't going to the store right now, I'd fall on down and make him shine my fucking shoes. That fucking irritates me. Oh, uh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Don't worry. That's the same type of intensity you get on game day, buddy boy. Trust me when I tell you. You'll get that same type of fucking aggressiveness and intensity. I won't shake no court. I won't shake opposing coaches' hands if we lose, and I still won't shake their hand when we win. Jimmy, the ball's in your court. Hire me.